interesting examples of relationships between different animals that live here in the intertidal zone. And Johanna and I came across this really cool leather star. There's actually dozens, maybe even a hundred leather stars on the beach right now. But this one caught our eye because it's a little bit bigger and it's purpler. And then we noticed something really interesting. So we'll get a little closer carefully flip this leather star over and if we look closely there's something that looks kind of like all the rest of these two feet but a little bit different it's a little bit pinker and it moves on its own it's a worm there is a worm living in the armpit of the sea star at all. It's kind of like a smiley face for the worm and a straight face for the sea star. So this commensal scale worm lives in there in between all the tooth feet and it's able to eat little bits of food that the sea star kind of leaves behind and it also gets protection so predators aren't going to come and eat this worm out from inside the sea star's tooth feet. So it gets protection living there and it gets access to some food if the sea star is a sloppy eater and it just is able to kind of survive and hang out there and the sea star doesn't really care. Um, so that's called a commensal relationship. Now there are some scale worms like this that will live in certain types of limpets and hermit crabs and they actually help to protect their host. So if something tries to eat a limpet, like if a sunflower star tries to crawl along and eat the limpet, that worm will come out and chomp, chomp, and chomp on the two feet of that predatory sea star and try to drive it away. So that's a little bit more of a beneficial relationship for the host. So that would be considered a mutualistic relationship where both things benefit. It's a smiley face, smiley face. But this one is that commensal scale. You want to take a closer look, Johanna? Yeah, the sea star kind of closed in around it. See that worm kind of moving on its own. The sea star kind of close up around it. Cool. So let's just put it back where it was, back where it 